What's going on guys? Mike from Patriot Considerations here. Today we're going to be going over uh, something that kind of goes along with uh, my general purpose rifle build. Uh, so as you guys have seen in previous videos, this is my 14.5, my main squeeze. Kind of does a little bit of everything. It's got a uh, TA31 4X power ACOG, an offset red dot, APL C, um, and a uh, Surefire Turbo with a suppressor. So. With that, you gotta have a way to carry ammo. Now, there are lots of ways you can carry ammo. You can go with a, a larger chest rig, a smaller chest rig, you can go with a plate carrier, uh, you can get mill syrup equipment, you can get aftermarket stuff. It really just depends on what you want and what your budget can afford. So, for me personally, I've been trying a couple different things. Uh, I used to roll with the military issued stuff back when I was in the army. Don't have to do that anymore, thank God, because that stuff kinda sucks. So, a lot of the newer stuff, uh, in the aftermarket area is a lot more comfortable, has a lot better features and just a lot better thought out than the military contract stuff. I do know that this chest rig has been used to some extent within special operations. Not sure exactly how that correlates to you, but I don't know. This is the Onward Research Recce Rig. Uh, apparently Garen Thumb was kind of the one that came up with this. Uh, he did probably, I would imagine, consult with other people, but he was the primary driving force behind this rig. This is, as the name implies, a recce rig. So what does that entail? Uh, honestly, that's gonna be more of a, a sustainment rig as opposed to an assaulter rig. Uh, you're not gonna have as fast of magazine changes. You're not gonna maybe have as, uh, as much going on uh, along the sides. This is designed to keep most of everything up towards the front on your chest where you don't have to worry about uh, your rucksack interfering with the uh, side straps and all of that, interfering with equipment on the sides like mag carriers and all that. So this has four double mag pouches on the front so you can run up to eight magazines in it. Currently, I just have one in each so I have a total of four mags on the chest right now. I've got an HSGI radio pouch on the side and then an HSGI blowout pouch on the side for uh, medical equipment. I like to run the radio on the left side of my body because I am right-handed and when I throw that stock of the rifle into my shoulder I don't want it to interfere with antennas or anything like that. Obviously this is a pretty short antenna here but if I run a longer antenna like one of the uh, folding tape antennas or something like that it can get in the way. I've had that happen before. So definitely would recommend running um, radio on the left side. On these recce rigs here they do have two rows of molly. A lot of uh, chest rigs have three. And when you get that third row of molly, uh, you're gonna end up putting stuff on that molly because it's there. Uh, a lot of pouches, medical pouches and stuff like that are three, three wide. So you can put more, you have more options for putting stuff on there. The downside to that is it will definitely interfere with um, side straps on rucks. So especially depending on your torso size. Now I'm a smaller guy. Um, about 165 pounds or so, uh, and uh, with this chest rig on here, if I have these two rows filled up right here, the straps go right past it right here, and they, they don't interfere, they don't dig, and they don't drive this thing forward and make it super uncomfortable. So this is a pretty dope setup. I like the way it's set up. Um, the only downside to running two rows of molly on the sides right here is, like I said before, it limits your options as far as medical. All right, here is the HSGI blowout kit. Uh, I think it has enough of the essentials that it's still a viable option. However, for some people, if they're wanting a little bit more in their IFAC, you're kind of SOL unless you come up with a different solution. This is really the best option that I found. Along with this chest rig, I also purchased this dangler from Onward Research. Um, this one's kind of a mixed bag for me. I like it and I hate it at the same time. I'll start with the things I hate about it. Uh, number one, as you can see, it is pretty small. And that became exceedingly apparent to me when I tried putting stuff in it. Realistically, you don't fit that much in it. Unfortunately, uh, if you wanted to use this as like a, a medical pouch, you might be able to get away with it depending on what all you deem necessary to have in an IFAC. Uh, I personally did not think it was anywhere close to enough space for that kind of thing. Um, I do have a tourniquet, a Gen 7 cat mounted on the bottom of it. Uh, it's got nice elastic here. It's got some, I believe this is molly webbing. Uh, usually I just like insert a, uh, a chem light or something like that in there uh, if, it's, if I feel like I need it for if I'm training at night with guys or something like that. Interior wise, it doesn't have a lot of room. 
Uh, it's one singular pouch. There is an elastic strap on the inside for if you wanted to mount like a cat or something like that on the interior of it. Doesn't have a ton of room and that really kind of was annoying. But I do understand why they chose to do this. I'm pretty sure. This is my theory anyways. My theory is they didn't want something super long hanging down interfering with your ability to easily access your um, kidney belt on a rucksack. Right here we have a cat. We've got some 550 cord wrapped around a ballpoint pen. Some face paint. A compass. And an MS2000 strobe. Here's that elastic I talked about in the center. I use it to hold the strobe in place to keep it from falling out when I open the thing up. Keep it from yard sale and everything. You never really want that. So again, kind of what this is designed for is a sustainment rig. So you're gonna have enough of everything that you kind of need and also conforming to the fact that you also have to carry around a 40 to 70 pound bag on your back for an extended period of time. And if you get a lot of other stuff going, I know a lot of guys like to run hydration carriers or something like that on their back or some kind of weird back panel. For this application, that is not good. Uh, you want your back to be slick, so when you're running a rucksack, you can have that, um, that kidney belt go around properly and then have that uh, support in your lower back and then up through your, your middle and the top of your back with that padding that it's not gonna interfere with other stuff. You don't want anything in between it, except for your garments, obviously. So on the rear of the chest rig, I do have a Shaw Concepts rear document stacker. This thing is awesome. It gives you a lot of versatility as far as uh, putting flat admin items in here like, you know, protractors, uh, notepads, uh, flat pieces of uh, like frog tape and boo-boo kits, signaling mirrors, things like that that you don't want to get damaged by bending them around. Um, so really great addition to it. Uh, not horribly expensive. And I think it overall adds to the usability of the uh, plate carrier quite significantly. It does have a map compartment built into the recce rig. However, it, the mouth opening on it I found is just a bit small and it's also Velcro. So not a huge fan of that. It wears out pretty fast and it's just not great in my opinion. It's loud and slower and all that. I just rather have a zipper. So yeah, shot concepts, great on here, great addition. Fits on here just fine. Uh, I do like it. Um, this is a nice setup. It is very well made. It's well stitched, well put together, well thought out. I didn't notice any issues with uh, tolerances or anything like that being off. All of everything was the appropriate size. The molly webbing and everything like that wasn't too tight and it wasn't too loose. It was just right. Just Goldilocks. On the left side of the carrier, right next to the radio, I do have a molly clip that allows me to run uh, a set of gloves and some tape that's tied off with some 550 cord. That just allows me to get um, some admin stuff on the rig that normally takes up a lot of space or sits in a pocket somewhere and you forget about it and or it's harder to access and just puts it right up front where it's not in the way but also still easy to access. The right side I keep pretty slick because if I'm running a sidearm, I don't want anything getting caught over here. I don't really run a sidearm very much in this configuration. If I was running a plate carrier, yes, I'd probably step up to a uh, sidearm in the event that I deemed it necessary. Thanks for stopping by guys. I appreciate it. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit subscribe, go ahead and like, comment down below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. I am making a video on my rucksack setup in the near future. Uh, it's an Everly Stock J51 Warhammer. It's a really cool pack, has a lot of modularity, a lot of scalability, and I think you guys are really going to like that video. Go ahead and comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.